Hello guys, welcome back to another installment of Professor Trolls. It's live. Um, and today we are back with a story time, guys. How I almost failed my one class in college due to this team project. Let's talk about it. I hadn't really talked about this, but I said today we're going to talk about it. So, you know, back when I was in college, when I first started off, even though I'm no longer a college person anymore, guys, I graduated. <laughs> but let's talk about it. So literally, um, I had history class and, you know, it was on a Saturday. Um, this was like around like a couple weeks before finals came up. Um, and literally what happened was, um, we were all had to be a part of a team project and, Ah, you know, this is how I feel about team projects, man. I'm not against it. You know what I'm saying? It, it all depends. But uh, my team, everybody was good. You know what I'm saying? Except for the one person. Uh, I, I'm going to just call this guy Classmate classmate uh, C. Classmate C was a little uh, on the weird side of life. Okay, so, you know, excuse me, uh, the second Saturday... Um, you know what I'm saying? Like before finals and stuff started to come around, um, we all got together as a group, exchanged phone numbers, like how classmates do in college, right? So classmate C was like a little bit on the weird side, y'all. And, and what do I mean by the weird side? Like it was like talking to him was like, it was like a, a riddle itself. It's just like, what's what's up with this guy you know what I'm saying? i remember i tell my other classmate oh man you you just being paranoid i'm like nah bro something off about him bro <laughs> something is off about him and uh you know so you know it, it was interesting but classmate c he was like oh i don't give out my number like that but i got a facebook i'm like okay well give me the, give me the facebook then if this is the way i can communicate with you you know what I'm saying? Great. Give, give me the Facebook. Other people gave me their number, which was totally fine. I was, wasn't against it. Um, But now here's the thing. Classmate C had, I don't know, man. It, 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 he was weird. I, I know I found out some things and I'm not going to say what. All I know is he did go to prison. I, I know that for a fact. That's all I'm going to say about Classmate C and leave it at that. Um, But now let's get more into the story. So a few more weeks came up. Um, and I remember our professor telling us, literally saying like, hey, this is a team everything. If you guys do not come together as a team, you will suffer. You will get an F in this class. And I'm like, yo, this is my grade, yo. You, you can't be, you gotta be kidding me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking like hesitant. Everybody else like, yay. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I was so against that. Like, y'all don't understand. I was against that. I was a little uncomfortable because now my grades at Jeopardy. I'm doing well in the class, but if I don't pass this final, this means I got to retake this class again. You know what I'm saying? That's the reality of it. So, you know, it was weird when I heard the news. I wasn't happy with it. She, the professor was like, what's wrong? And I'm like, ah, oh, professor, I, I can't necessarily agree with you on this, but you know what I'm saying? It is your class after all, but I, I just, I'm not really feeling this, you know what I'm saying? And I remember the day when presentation came up. So let's talk about the day when presentation came up. Um, so, uh, we had a project. Our project was on a certain part of history. Each, uh, class had, you know, a different part of history, um, so, you know, we get to class that day. I talked to my other classmates. And I'm like, yo, where, where classmates see at? You know what I'm saying? Cause he was talking mad junk on Facebook. Like, yeah, you know, I can't wait to do the project and stuff. And, and even, you know, prior to that, the other couple classes that we had, I'm like, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he was acting like he was a team player, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So he like, yeah, I know what timeline. Y'all ain't got to tell me nothing. And you know what I'm saying? He's on his Kanye West, okay? So like we get to class that day. Um, Our team was the next one up. Everybody else was looking kind of nervous, like a deer in the headlight. Like, where's classmate C? And I'm like, well, screw classmate C. If he ain't showing up, we can still do this together. You know what I'm saying? That's how I looked at it. I'm like, screw him, you know? Uh, pretty much, you know, and I, and I didn't say it in a rude way, but just in a realistic aspect of it, like, 
We don't need classmates, see? He barely came to class anyway, so what does that tell you about him? He wasn't trying to pass the class. So we go and present the information. And so here's the funniest thing, guys. You're going to laugh when I tell you this. So classmate C try to like cut me off when I'm presentating my part of the presentation. I said, excuse me. Um, this is the right time. Like, like we, we go, we have a little debate. You know what I'm saying? The teacher sees there's some conflict amongst us. Not a beef. It didn't get into a fight or anything. But classmate C did the wrong part of the timeline. He did our other, the other team's timeline. And he didn't have the nerve to ask us. He was being honorary about it, if you ask me. Like, if you don't know what's going on, hit someone up. Tell someone, hey, yo, what timeline are we doing? So now he wanted to make me like the biggest clown in class. No one laughed at him when he said it because my, my team laughed at him because they knew he had did the wrong part of the timeline. So the teacher was like, well, Alonzo, he was like, well, Klaus, and, and, and literally saying, Hey, look, look, you guys, I understand that you, you did a great job. Uh, everyone was on point except for classmate C and he says Alonzo, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, cool. So then the thing is like, here's the problem. <laughs> I told the professor, I'm like, Hey, look, man, everybody did a great job. It's not our fault that classmate C was not trying to communicate with us. I felt personally, I'm like, look, man, we tried to communicate with this man. I inboxed him on Facebook numerous times, and he only responded with weirdness going on. And I ain't had time for that weird energy. To me, I think he might have been low-key into guys. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say for classmate C. But uh, I was just like, I, you know what I'm saying? We, we tried to work with him. My one classmate, he gave her the number. I'm like, oh, so you giving out numbers, right? But you can give me your number or my uh, my other classmates your number. Oh, I know that's about. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh well, she she can get the number automatically. But us, we had to communicate with him on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? So I told the professor, I said, "Look, now I don't necessarily agree with what you're saying. I put my I put my neck on the line for my team. I you look, I you know I like teamwork, but that day I just didn't agree with the professor. I'm like, hey, look, I don't." I'm passing your class. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about everybody else's situation. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak for everybody else's situation. I know I'm passing your class. But I told him, I said, look, um, I think you should be a little bit more fair because our group, we did the work. Classmate C, he never called anybody. He never tested anybody. He never inboxed me on Facebook. And I told the professor that this is unfair. And the class was like, <gasps> You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, I put myself out there. Shoot, y'all not trying to put yourself out there. So the professor, he sat and thought about it for a bit. You know what I'm saying? And, and he he said, you know what? You have a point. I, I agree with you. I can see there was tension amongst you guys and everything. And it seems like you guys came together. Of course, everybody else was, was you know, not talking amongst one another, communicating back and forth with one another. We may not talk to every day, but guess what? We made it our business to say, hey, look, you need help with this? What you going to do on this? What you going to do on that? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and, and my, my team, you could see the look in their eyes, man. My one classmate, you could tell she was tearing up. You know what I'm saying? Because I risked my neck to tell the professor how I really felt about it. Because I'm like, look, I can be arrogant too, but I ain't using my arrogance for that. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't necessarily agree with how he was going to grade us for this final. Because it was our final after all. And luckily, the, the lesson of this uh, story is when you don't agree with something, figure out a way to, to make something happen, y'all. Like, I passed the class, my classmates passed. Classmates, see, I, I don't think he passed, y'all. I don't think he passed because, like I said, he barely was coming. Then every now and then, he was on some weird stuff. I, I just didn't have time for the weird energy that he was on, you know what I'm saying? But my classmates did thank me. They said, thank you for, you know, putting yourself on the line to tell the professor that you disagree in a respectful way. And I'm like, yeah, psh, like, hey, look, I'm not trying to fail. You know what I'm saying? Like, psh, <laughs> I don't know about the rest of y'all, you know, and I don't know why people were scared of the professor. The professor was super cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? There have been times where I didn't disagree, disagree with him on stuff, but I ain't chew him out or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So. Sometimes y'all got to speak up for yourselves. You know, some of y'all get, <laughs> I can't do it. 
No, nah, you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? But this is my story time for the day. <laughs> Class may see. <laughs> and guys, this is my video for the day. You tell me in the comments, have you ever experienced this in high school or college where you're in part of a team for a final and your grade was in jeopardy due to your one classmate that was lacking? You tell me in the comments, guys, and I'm out.